In this video, we are going to be discussing combining like terms. So let's start by discussing what exactly is a term. A term is either a single number or a variable, or numbers and variables multiply together. And they're subtracted by addition and subtraction symbols. Or I'm sorry, they're separated by addition and subtraction symbols. So if we take a look like 3x squared, that's a term, right? It's 3 times x squared, and together that forms one number. If we said, for example, x equals 2, then 3x squared equals 3 times 2 squared, which is 3 times 4, which is 12. So this is just one number right here. Likewise, x is a term. All right? It doesn't have a coefficient. That's what we call the number in front of the, in front of the variable. But it is a term by itself. And then all, so is 1. 1 is also a term. So terms are just numbers that are separated by our addition and subtraction terms. Or addition and subtraction symbols. So what are like terms? Like terms are terms that contain the same variable that is raised to the same power. So for example, 3x and 9x, these are like terms. They both have x and it's both raised to the same power. So when, they add, when we combine them, we just say, well, 3x and 9x, together those make 3 plus 9, which is 12, so I've got 12x. Similarly, 7b squared and 1.5b squared, they both have a b, and it is, they are both raised to the second power, so they're like terms. And if I combine them, 7 plus 1.5 is 8.5b squared. Right down here we have another example. Negative 13mn and 42mn, or nm. Now this one might be tricky, but if we look, they both have an m. They both have an n. Now both our variables are raised to the first power. So these are like terms. If I combine them, I get negative 13 plus 42, which is 29. Then I put n, m. Now these examples over here, these are not like terms. All right, so if I look, w and w cubed. This is w to the first power. This is w to the third power. Because the powers are different, these are not like terms. Similarly, 54ab and 36ab squared, they both have an a, so that's like, that's okay. They both have a b, so this one is b squared and this one's b to the first. Because they're not to the same power, these are also not like terms. So in order to be like a ter like term, they have to have the same variable and it has to be raised to the same power. Let's go ahead and talk about how are we going to combine our like terms. So to combine like terms, we want to match up our like terms, then add or subtract them to combine, and we want to make sure we include the correct sign. So for example, if we said like uh, 3x plus 2 plus 8x plus 6, yeah, let's make it minus 6. If we take that as an example, we look at our like terms, 3x and 8x are like terms, and I include the plus sign so that I know that this is a positive 8x. So I'm going to say, okay, here I go, 3x plus 8x. And then also our like terms, positive 2 and negative 6. So I'm going to say plus 2 minus 6. So when I put them all together, I'm going to combine here. 3 plus 8 gives me 11. Put my x on there. And over here, positive 2 minus 6 is negative 4. So when I combine my like terms, 3x plus 2 plus 8x minus 6, I get 11x minus 4. We want to be careful that we take the correct sign. So I kind of boxed in the negative on the negative 6 here so that I know that I'm taking 6 away from 2. So let's take a look at our first example. Right now I want you to pause the video, write this down, and see if you can combine like terms on your own before I continue. Alright, now that you've tried it, let's go ahead and see what we've got here. 
So we want to find all our like terms here, arrange them so that the like terms are next to each other, and then combine. So let's look at this first term here. 2x cubed. So I want to see, does 2x cubed have a like term somewhere in here? Well, here I've got 5x, but it's just 5x. There's no cubed, so that doesn't work. 8 is just 8. It doesn't have an x. doesn't work. 19x, once again, I don't have the cubed, so that doesn't work. Minus 12, no x, plus 4x squared. Well, this is 4x squared, not 4x cubed, so that doesn't combine. So 2x cubed is all by itself. It does not have any like terms. All right, now let's take a look at 5x. 5x has a like term here in 19x. So I want to put those two next to each other, plus 5x, plus 19x. All right, 8 is just a constant number. It doesn't have a variable. And it has a like term right here in negative 12. And I make sure that I box in the negative on 12 so that I know that it's plus 8 minus 12. Then finally, 4x squared, well, it's the last term out. It's kind of the odd man out. It's not going to have any like terms. We've already used every other term. So now I want to go through and I want to add these up. 2x squared doesn't have a like term, so it's going to go by, or 2x, sorry, that should be 2x cubed. 2x cubed doesn't have a like term, so it's going to go by itself. Also, while I'm at it, 8x squared doesn't have a like term, so it goes by itself. Five, positive 5x plus 19x. 19 plus 5 is plus 24x. And then positive 8 minus 12. So that's 8 minus 12 gives me negative 4. So this becomes minus 4. So now, now that we've got this, let's go ahead and make sure we don't, we've don't we combined all our like terms. Here I've got x cubed. Here I've got x squared. Here I've got x. Here I don't have a variable. So all of my like terms have been combined. So this is the most simplified version of that expression. So I'm going to leave you with a try it problem. And it says simplify. And you've got this long expression, 12ab plus 9a squared plus 3b minus 6 plus a squared minus 2b plus b squared minus 6ab. So you need to combine all your like terms and come up with a simplified expression. You need to do this in your notes and bring it to class tomorrow.